sync it is with. starting up this okay, match finals go. match brought to you by antline audio keep your headphones add a mod mic and here we go all right so blue off immediately get on the point where red is playing the side just spamming some rockets at each other now now team really aggressive okay there's the ooh both double air shot both soldiers hit each other with a nice direct Bakuri now really weak race guy getting Pretty healthy here. The both soldiers are going to get healed up nicely. Uh, radio! Into the direct crack and then Cloudy just got cleaned up first and then Radio finished up with the shotgun. Now, so Rice Guy with the double kill and bringing it out here in force in this first round. Clockwork immediately jumping in, going for the air shot. Gets him! Almost put him into the death pit. Court now actually pretty weak. Oh, gets cleaned up by the air. Rice Guy shotgun. Radio is just gonna die and actually feeds Corsa an Uber saw. So Corsa is now at a full Uber charge, uh, and Red is gonna now have to go in and force that out and then die. Here comes the horse. Bakuri immediately going for Corsa. Corsa with a nice surf actually, able to hold on to the Uber charge. Radio made a bit suicide. Failed push there. They wanted to get that Uber charge out. As you can see, Clockwork immediately jumped Corsa. But Corsa just surfed it away and was able to get out of there. Again, Clockwork immediately going for Corsa, wants to get this Uber Force. Corsa is so weak! 9 health! Finally pops it. Uh, and now they've waited so long, they might be able to survive. Radio's still alive there, playing around this little call-up. Going for Uber Saw, surfs away. Uh, if she survives, then this is great. If she doesn't, then this is a real big problem. Oh, and she survives. And then Chili Corsa takes down Clockwork, so now it's just a medic v medic fight on the points. They're both running in opposite directions on the points, trying to do something. It's a very awkward fight right now. Red finally getting their soldier back, capping the point up. Ooh, Clockwork, nice air shot on Corsa. It's gonna push him back. Oh, sorry, onto Rice Guy, my bad. Rice Guy now getting healed up by his medic. Almost at the full 300. It's actually, uh, Clockwork doesn't want to let him get healed up though. He's gonna come in and start plowing out damage. Takes out Corsa. Rice Guy should go down no problem. Actually, Rice Guy took out Radio and Clockwork with the shotgun. It's a clutch play from Rice Guy. Yeah, one health. One health there. Gets an arrow from his medic. Gets the capture back. Very nicely played there from Asian Rice Guy. Now Clockwork comes back in. Pops Rice Guy up into the sky. It's playing on the bottom of this point. Jumps back up. Putting some good damage onto Rice Guy. Clockwork is still pretty darn healthy. Ooh, but Rice Guy now getting the advantage here. And Corsa gonna finish it off with a Uber Saw. Radio trying to decide what's happened. Corsa gets a second Uber Saw, bringing it up himself up to 100% Uber. So now uh, Clockwork's just gonna wanna go out, get this Uber Force, die, and then fight it again. So far, about two and a half minutes off the time of the blue. Whereas Red's only got 30 seconds. Actually, Red's looking like they're gonna just take this point without forcing the Uber. Kind of a surprising play. Ooh, oh my goodness! The Asian Rice guy went for a jump there, got air shot, and just fell into the pit. Wasn't able to scream out of it. And now Corsa is forced to pop on himself. Is he gonna get pitted there? No, he isn't. It's very nicely done. Oh, and radio! I don't know if anything actually hit her. She just went into the pit. I just don't think she knows this map well enough. Maybe she got bounced. I don't know. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt here. But that was death pit MVP in this map. Blue caps it back. And now the time is ticking down for them. Red's gone about a minute off the point. Blue in about two and a half minutes. Clockwork going for the air shot. Not able to connect. Ooh, Rice got with a downward air shot while airborne. Very nicely done. Radio's just gonna suicide. Doesn't want to give Corsa any more Uber soft racks. A red coming back out here, Clockwork immediately jumping in. They don't have an Uber to force, so they have to sort of just play this for the frags. Of course, the race guy got a nice air shot, but he's actually a lot weaker. He jumps back in before he can get a buff and just easily cleaned up. And Corsa goes down immediately, so now Red's gonna be able to recap this point, get an Uber advantage, as long as they can keep their medic alive for the next few pushes, so they'll have the Uber to stave off an extra push. Rice guy jumping in. Isn't getting much done. Clockwork actually actually is dropping pretty weak. Clockwork to 70 HP. Rice guy is still at 200. Clockwork is gonna get cleaned up. Can Radio clinch it? No, she unfortunately can't. And there goes the cap back.
Fuck, we're jumping in. Going for the air shaft. Sorry. Fuck, we got really weak. Rice Cat is so weak as well. I think Clockwork might have gotten an air from medic. They're both still just getting healed up. They're both actually pretty healthy at this point. Actually, the heals are in favor of Rice Cat. He's getting the nice arrows from his medic. Uh, and now Clockwork goes down. Radio is left to her own devices. Just decides to suicide. Clips her fate. And now this is looking like a very strong start from uh, what was their team name again? Uh, of course, the Rising, obviously. He's the hardest I'm team to forget it. Obviously. I still manage to forget it. Sorry, what was that, Aaron? Oh, I was just saying, obviously the name is Corsa Rescue. Come on. Come on. And how man. is he standing? And now, he, are you noticing he, that? He managed to find this crazy spout where he can just hang on the wall somehow, doesn't even die. It's Clockwork saying it's not even possible physically. I'm looking at it right now. There's, it's seamless. He shouldn't be able to stand there and get a one hammer unit distance. <laughs> he manages to not get death pitted there. Kind of crazy. Clockwork and Radio just going in for a suicide play, dying, respawning, and going again. And now only 30 seconds remaining for blue. Three and a half for red. This is a very strong start for blue. Oh, Clockwork getting a nice air shot out to Rice Guy. Needs to follow it up. Rice Guy jumping back onto the points. Clockwork needs to get up there. Radio now super weak. Ooh, they get down Rice Guy. Of course, is now defending the points. Get has full movement, so he can pop it off and hold this until Rice Guy gets back. It's just gonna wait. Rice guy back in the fight now. Pushing them off the point. Clockwork and Co. need to stay on this point. Otherwise, they're gonna lose this round. They are playing for the finals here. For the nice headsets and mics and such. Uh, best of three this is the first round. And it looks like this is pretty strongly favored Blue right now. But Red has managed to save off another push. Pops their Uber charge. Keeps themselves healthy. Gonna get the ammo. Down to two, probably... two minutes, 50 seconds on red, and only five seconds on blue. For course yeah, of that, so blue should be able to get this in the next two minutes, 50 seconds. But they're not gonna get it on this push. Ooh, of course, actually gets it. Takes down Clockwork. Radio finishes Corsa up with a arrow. And now it's Rice Guy versus. Radio, Radio just needs to stay alive, but she's so weak, she's 25 feet, oh. dodging these rockets. Hard to hit a medic at that range. Radio is now getting reach at. The fight is going on, Clockwork is pretty weak. Is he getting, he's barely getting healed up. Of course it actually gets taken down. I'm so surprised by that. Rice guy gets it, time's gonna cap off. Five seconds left. That's it. What round goes to? Where's the Rice guy? Now we're bringing it into the second round. One in favor, of course, of Rice Guy. Both teams electing is good for the point this time instead of one to the side. Some rockets being exchanged. Nothing particularly interesting happening yet. Clockwork's pretty weak. Clockwork down now. And Brady is just gonna accept the fate. So that, and the first cap goes in favor, of course, of Rice Guy. We have secured the control point. Alright, now the, oh, the squad camp comes in, they managed to take out Clockwork and Radio, uh, playing quite aggressively. They knew where they were going to come out of spawn there, and just clean them up. So now, are they going to switch spawns? Spawn, are they going to come out? Okay, they come out the last long, with both their engine buff this time. And, oh, very nice, they played some more time. Rice guy. Of course, this should get cleaned up here, very nice. And now they need to cap this back. Only 30 seconds right. taken off for blue, so not too bad for red. The cap's now in favor of red. They're gonna start ticking down this time. They wanna hold it off, get some even time advantage. Clockwork surfing the rocket. Rice guy jumping back onto the point. Ooh, right. This guy with a sick air shot. Shotgun. Takes down Clockwork. And Radio just dies. Now Blue is back in the position of the point. They've got about 40 seconds off of it. We're supposed to the 20 seconds off for red. Clockwork jumping in, gets air shot! Oh, I thought he was going to get death pitted there for a moment. Manages to stay on the point. He is actually quite a bit healthier than Rice Guy at the moment. Has a 50 HP advantage here. And that was actually quite weak. Rice Guy must have been hitting some nice directs. 
But actually, radio goes down. Clockwork with a clutch ear shot. Takes down the race guy and finishes off Corsa with a shotgun. Very nicely played from Clockwork there. Just denied that jump in totally. Kept their point in their hands for a, a bit longer. And now the fight's happening again. Both teams on the red side. The oh, Corsa with the surf around tries to get up on that sneaky spot again, but just goes into the death pit. And now Radio has died. Clockwork is back up, but is, has to just wait for his medic to respawn. Times are fairly even this round. Slight time advantage for Blue, though. Ooh. Rice guy thought was gonna get pitted there for a second. Down, really weak down to PHP, gets taken out, and now, of course, he just needs to die here. Yep, there he goes. Clockwork missing this jump a little bit, getting up on the point now. Blue off the playoff to the side here. Clockwork getting a nice air shot out to, to Rice guy. Another air shot, just absolutely denying any attempt from Rice guy to get off the point. Corsa going for Ubersauce, but just cleaned up by the shotgun from Clockwork. Don't want to challenge the shot. Clockwork shotgun. He is a pretty good hit scan player, I've heard. Rice guy jumping in on my point. Ooh, Clockwork not quite connecting with the air shot. He is now going for. Asian Rice guy was on the 8 HP. I don't know if they realized how weak he is. Did get arrowed. Radio actually went in really far and got destroyed. Uh, can Clockwork pick anything up here? He's not able to. Corsa was down to 26 HP, but gets healed up. He is now regenning. Should be totally fine. Blue needs to cap the point back. Radio spamming arrows from spawn. Ooh, Clock with a nice area that's not able to connect to the double. Does finish it off with a shotgun, though. Corsa just bringing around the Rosie here. Radio gets the Uber soft frags. Now it's a 50% Uber advantage for Ducks. Cap the points. It's now pretty even times. Red has finally gotten the first time advantage though this game, I think. Uh, they have about 10 seconds up on them. Not much to speak of, but it's something. And now Rice Guy absolutely destroyed there with a shotgun choice immediately. It's farewell, cool world. Rice Guy jump again. He manages to bully Clockwork off the point, getting some nice directs at the Clockwork. Clockwork's so weak. The Uber does get forced out. They've got, they've accomplished their goal. Now it's time to die. Uh, Rice guy, yeah, he just stands still and lets him get self get shotgun. Uh, so that was the play. I think they delayed their deaths a little bit there. They both tried to evade it a little bit, but they realized they weren't winning against the Uber players, so they just die. Clockwork goes there, shot not quite able to it. Ooh, Rice guy with a nice air shot on Clockwork. Is just gonna get healed up now, Rice and so is Clockwork. Clockwork now dropping quite low, gets taken out. Rice guy pretty weak, maybe can get finished off by an arrow, but isn't able to do it. Right here just decides to commit suicide. Alright, Guac, your mic's okay. doing that thing again. Alright, you take it over. So I'm gonna take it over here. Clockwork and Radio come on out of their spawn. Radio knocked down to about 100 HP. Uber building though, going for the, uh, the point, but the death pit. Who, which hasn't been nerfed yet, will go ahead and take out Clockwork, and Radio will accept the death from Asian Rice Guy. About two minutes left for each team, with uh, Clockwork having the advantage right now. But Asian Rice Guy is just going ahead and pull out the shotgun, take down Clockwork, and uh, Blue is pulling away, or not pulling away, but closing in on the uh, two minute mark here. Clockwork standing at uh, two minutes and one second. Of course, the Rice guy setting at 220, closing in. Clockwork getting taken down again, rushing outside without his medic, and is just losing battle after battle here. As we're about even now left on the times, Clockwork gonna rush out right now. The Uber will be popped, and Asian Rice guy again just knocking down Clockwork as Radio stays in spawn. Asian Rice Guy gonna play a little bit aggressive here. He's gonna get knocked back with a rocket here, taking quite a bit of damage, but will be healed up by his medic. And now, of course, the Rice Guy will take the lead. Clockwork gets knocked down and will be dead now by a shot deep uh, kill from Asian. Course is gonna get the Ubersaw kill on the radio, giving him a little, or giving uh, Course a little bit of Uber 
boost, and they're at 100% uber now, with 1 minute 30 seconds left on the clock. Are we any better yet? Not at all. Oh boy. <laughs> no worries, man. 1 minute 20 seconds left on this cap point, and Asian will, uh, or excuse me, Clockwork will force the uber to come out, and at, the uber saw from radio will take down Corsa, so Asian Rice Guy is all alone with 75 health. And we'll pick it up, but they have a minute left on the clock to take it this map point. Clockwork will come out. He's actually denying the quite a few shots. He will take Asian Rice Guy and will capture the point. So now the clock starts ticking down on Clockwork's team. As Corsa is down to 41 HP, will come out and get on the medic. And Asian Rice Guy wasted no time getting back on the point here to take over the point. Oh, maybe. As Corsa is forced to pop the charge she had, or he had, uh, just 14 HP left. Blue will go ahead and, or excuse me, Corsa Rice Guy will go ahead and take over the point with 54 seconds left on the clock. As Clockworks team set in that 1 minute 29 seconds. Very close match. Rock, how you doing? Any better? Yes, a lot better. Awesome, okay, let's cast again. Alright, <laughs> looks like Red's getting the point back here. Uh, radio going for the Uber Saws. Should be able to take out Corsa here. Corsa, did he just steer for the Uber Saw? I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Couldn't quite see it. Oh, nice surf, but then he just absolutely juggled into that air shot by Clockwork. Clockwork, could I get actually take it down really low? It was down to 4 HP there, I think. Just, but man, just barely clinch out the kill onto Rice Guy. Rice Guy gonna feel uh, the burn on that one. To come back out here. Red needs to hold this off for a full minute. The blue needs to cap it for 30 seconds. The pop up is the arrow. Nice guy with a nice air shot. But the Uber comes out, he's up both of their players. Of course, it just decides to commit suicide. Blue coming back out here. They're playing the they're playing the left side, so signs go directly to the point. Clockwork now dropping down to a little, little bit weaker, a little bit weaker. So can Rice Guy finish off the damage on him? Uh, looks like Clockwork is building up there. Questionable decision. Uh, the Rashaka battle happening. Clockwork does get annihilated. So Clockwork was trying to shoot himself and build Uber a little faster there. Uh, but it ended, all it ended up doing was making him a little bit weaker during that fight and made it easier for Rice Guy to clean him up. Rice Guy. Really stop getting so excited about air shots anymore because they're happening all the time in this match. But looks like Red is just gonna clean this up nicely, take the points. First are trying to go for some Arrow frags, but Clockwork is just jumping over each and every one. Of course, they're going. Oh, sorry, Rice Guy going in for a jump, not able to get off the hook. Second jump in here. Pops Clockwork in the air. Nice direct, I think. Both soldiers just putting their way around either side of the, of the point, not able to get much. Now, the Uber has come out, but has faded now. Full course of Rice Guy, and it's over. Bad news bears for Clockwork's team, and they just die and wait for the refights. But they did manage to take a full minute off the time before Blue recaps, so that's a 30 second advantage for them. No Uber for either team. Ooh, nice air shot! Clockwork dropping down pretty low down to 30 HP. Does have the height advantage, but. Ooh, a nice crisp direct from Asian Rice Guy takes down Clockwork on, on the top of the spire. And now Blue holds it off for another 30 seconds, evening out the time advantage. And now they're up on 40% Uber. Clockwork jumping in. Air shot attempt? Not quite able to connect. Rice Guy jumping in. He is a bit weaker now. So they're just playing on their side of the point. Corsa now, Superman Clockwork. He's deciding that since Corsa wasn't gonna fight, he may as well just shoot the medic who is out in the open and gets the kill. And then Rice Guy's an easy frag afterwards. They get the point back, and now time is ticking down in their favor. Rice Guy jumping in and gets air shot denied. 
Jumping in again. No air shot this time. Proc was pushed off the point, but it is still quite a bit healthier. Jumping in. Ooh, downward air shot. Absolutely. Craters and the shotgun. Right sky. Absolutely destroyed. And of course it goes down as well. Nice guy jumping back in. Kenny, can he get this? He is a bit healthier. He has the nice buff. Clock is now super weak. But right, it trades in favor of Race Guy. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but Race Guy just just got annihilated. And Corsa accepts his fate. Nice. The Uber did get forced out though, so that was actually worked out well. Not quite sure why Radio popped the Uber. Wasn't quite able to see, but Uber got forced out and now they can fight again. Ooh, Clockwork with a nice air shot. Absolutely stuffing him on that point. And now Race Guy is pretty weak. So is Clockwork though. Oh, and then Radio takes out Rice Guy, and it's just Corsa left alive. Crazy exchange of frags there. Corsa, is he gonna cap this? Okay, nice play from Corsa there, playing the Swans Timer. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, in King of the Hill type formats such as this, the team that currently owns the points has longer respawns. And since Red owned the points, uh, Blue... Corsa wanted to get his soldier up as fast as possible, so he didn't capture the point. Waited till his soldier was up, and then immediately captured the point. Got his soldier up faster. Very nicely played from him. And now this exchange is happening. Asian Rice Guy gets the better of it. Down to 70 HP. Reloading his shotgun shells. This is going to wait for his mag to respawn. But it's not going to be soon enough. Clockwork immediately gets point presence. And is going to get some good damage out to Rice Guy, who actually is now in the healthier position. Rice Guy is looking good here. Clockwork getting some good damage on him, though. Actually, can't decide who to focus fire, though. He got good damage on to Rice Guy. He got good damage on to the medic. Corsa, but wasn't like really putting all his damage into one or the other, and so he ended up dying. Uh, both were pretty weak, but he didn't complete any of the frags. The clockwork goes down once again, and now Red Sky and Corsa are playing pretty close. Red needs to make something happen here. Uh, it's do or die time for them. It's, the times are pretty even for both teams. But, uh, of course the Rice Guy does have a two-round advantage, and as we know, this is play to three. So whoever, whoever, if Blue wins this, they win the, they win it all. Oh, Clockwork with a nice bomb and takes out Corsa. He's not going to be able to pick up Asian Rice Guy, and now Radio is caught out a little bit. Is but it, that doesn't look like Rice Guy's going to attack. Radio playing around the points. Rice Guy good, just going for radio, but isn't going to be able to complete the frag. Gets radio down to 20 HP, finished up by an arrow from Corsa, but Clockwork stays alive, wins it, is going to get the capture back. We have captured the control point. My point medic. Now they're going to get their position to go out the point. Both soldiers throw a knife, 300 buff. Rice Guy getting denied from the points. Is taking a lot of spam here. Is having some trouble getting healed back up by his medic. But now has some shots in the rockets. Because Clockwork has expended a lot of his ammunition. So might be playing the ammo game here. Clockwork now pretty weak. Getting healed up. Chasing him around the points. Hard to splash people around this point. And Clockwork goes into the pit. But Radio immediately dies afterwards. And actually, Crater's Rice Guy, so it's just Corsa left alive. Once again, Corsa not capturing the point until his soldier oh, yeah. gets back up. Gets him the fast spawn. Red starting to capture on this point. Clockwork going for their shot. Not going to be able to complete. Shotgun battle happening. Rice Guy gets another of it. And now it's just Blue capturing up this point, holding their position, waiting for the incoming assault. And please remember to stay tuned after the match for your chance to win a Super Lux Antlion Mod Mic combo, which we will be raffling up in this Twitch chat after this. So get excited. And meanwhile, Blue only has a minute left on the point. Red has to hold, capture the point and hold it for two minutes if they want to have any chance of getting the first place prize here. Ooh, Clockwork once again pitted. The pit truly is the MVP of this match. 
It's uh, it's an interesting feature of the map. I'm not sure if I like it. It's kind of gimmicky. But it is what it is. You have to deal with it. Now 30 seconds up for Blue. Red has to make something happen here, right here, right now. But Blue has the Uber charge. They need to get the Uber up. Oh, and then Rice Guy. Oh my goodness. Rice Guy goes into the pit. Of course, it was so distracted that he drops the Uber. And Red captures the point back. Not such a terrible thing with for blue since they do still have a minute and a half to get this back and only have to hold it 15 seconds when they do but still crazy turn of events there and now the uber saw battle happening on the board radio got the uber switches the medicum can't quite right click fast enough to pop it off blue is gonna capture the points Red's jumping back in there. Can they make anything happen? Clockwork getting some rockets onto Rice Guy. They're not quite playing the point well enough. Radio goes for the saw. And one second left. That is victory. And, and now, that is the winners of the Ego Ulti Duo Tournament. Congratulations, of course, to Rice Guy. Well played to Team Ducks for getting in second place. So, yep, C congratulations to Corsa Asian Rise Guy and Team Ducks. Corsa Asian Rise Guy getting first place with the uh, super awesome uh, Sennheiser headphones. Uh, got eight keys and a bunch of other cool stuff. Also, Ducks getting this, uh, some headphones too their way.